Hello, and welcome to our Final Fantasy XIV online series. So what this is going to be is we created a brand new account, and we're going to create a brand new character. So actually, we already uh, played for a little bit. We made a character to level 28, and we did uh, the main story up to level 20 to unlock the uh, grand company. So it's not like we're going in here uh, completely blind. We did play for a little bit, so we do have a good idea of what we're doing, which is probably a good thing, so we're not uh, recording absolutely everything. <laughs> but when you uh, make your new account, something you're going to have to do is choose which uh, server you're going to go on. So we came here, we chose the North American server over here, and then we chose the Primal server, <clears throat> as I believe that's the one with the uh, most people on it. So that's what we did when you make your account, you're going to have to choose a server depending what location in the world you are believe in. Uh, we're going to be playing on uh, this one here. So after we've chosen our server, we're going to have to make a new character. <clears throat> so as well, we could go here to select which uh, world we're going to play on. So I think we're playing on Hyperion. And I think we read that the uh, legacy just just means that the server has been out like uh, since the game came out. I think <clears throat> so. I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna create a character on Hyperion, and then if we go here, we just make a uh, new character. There's gonna be a few different options you can do here. You could choose to be a human. You could be a male or a female. You could be a taller human. You could be a short person, or you could be a, a cat girl. Or he could be a, a big, a big ogre guy. Or he could be th th these people. Or he could be a werewolf. Or he could be a rabbit girl. <clears throat> Except uh, you, you can't actually uh, be, be the uh, rabbit girl unless you uh, pay money. So you have to pay money to be the rabbit girl. But as a free cow, we can make a, a cat girl. So that's pretty much the character that we made. <clears throat> so what we're gonna do is just go through and create our first character here So we uh, can confirm this mm -hmm. And then you get two options here. I don't think these two options really really uh, mean anything. We chose uh, Seekers of the Sun mm -hmm. And then you can change all your different character options here So I think what we did was we just made her a bit shorter and then the bus size I think we just made this a bit bigger and then the tail shape we chose the third tail shape. I think that was the best one. The tail length, we just left it. The face was just fine. The skin color, that's all right. The hairstyle, <laughs> we chose this one. It's right after the default one. So we're just looking at the back of the character and you're gonna be looking at this character for a while. So you wanna pick one that you wanna be looking at. So we also chose the hair color. So we made white. I guess the good thing that we remake this character because we didn't realize you changed the eye color. We never changed the eye color on our first uh, character here. So what we're gonna do is just make uh, blue. And there we go. So I don't think there's anything else we can change here that we really needed to. We already looked at all these things. I think the voice maybe. I think we're... <laughs> you choose which voice your character uses. So there we go. So now we have uh, our character created. And we can save our appearance data if we want. If we want to load it later for something. And there we go. Uh, for the date, it says it has uh, no effect on the gameplay. <laughs> so I don't think it really uh, matters which one we pick. Same with this thing, it doesn't have any effect on the gameplay. We just chose the first one. And then we can choose our different uh, class here. <clears throat> so something we can do is we can actually preview to see what our character might look like later. So you go down here to attire. You go to small clothes if you want to see what it should look like like that. Uh, we, we found that out. That's a pretty good feature. Um, you go to your race to get uh, this outfit. It's a pretty good starting outfit. And uh, you can also select the uh, job attire now. So eventually, looks like uh, if you choose the gladiator, your character will look like this. And here's the different outfits. So I wonder if this is just like the uh, level 60 max outfits or something that you're trying to eventually get. You kind of see what they might look like when they uh, get, get some better uh, clothes on here. 
So I think for our first character, we chose the gladiator because I, I think the uh, glider outfit worked uh, good with the character that we picked. I think it matched and everything, but I think for this one, we're going to go Dispol Magic and just pick the uh, Conjurer. Uh, it doesn't matter which uh, class we pick, I think, so you could be you could be every single one of these classes on the same character later anyways. This is just going to be the character that we start with. Uh, uh, as well as we start in Grenadia, which is going to help later, because if we start in Grenadia, that's going to be where we're going to be unlocking the uh, Grand Company anyways. Because uh, when we chose this uh, Gladiator, we started in Ulda, uh, which which we had to change our home location later anyways. So let's go here. The Conjurer is going to be a healing class, so if we're queuing for a dungeon, we can just be a healer, and then we can just sit there, and we don't have to really do anything. Uh, so it seems like a good class to pick, maybe. And maybe the robes actually do match this character, too. So now that we have this figured out, we're going to be the Conjurer here, selecting the Leviation. I thought we were choosing a uh, Behemoth Hyperion. Select another. Yeah, we're supposed to be out here. Why is it trying to set us to uh, Leviation? Is that a better server? Uh, so we go here. And then you can make your name for your character. So hopefully it lets us make this because we uh, had the character created. We tried to uh, remake this name and said that we couldn't make that name. <laughs> begin a new game. Alright, so the journey of Cat Girl will be out to begin. Something we did on our first playthrough is we were doing like uh, every single quest that we seen, we were doing every fate that came up, <clears throat> which I don't actually think you're supposed to do that because our character was like level 28 and we were doing like level 17. We we're at like level 20 story quests, but we went through them. As well as all these uh, cutscenes and everything, I think most of the time it's just spent watching all these uh, cutscenes and all the uh, text dialogue and everything. So I wonder if there's a way to skip it probably. Oh, you can even uh, skip the cutscene if you don't want to watch all of it. We'll watch she, the beginning uh, one. This is pretty interesting. I think she fights something. Or just in the middle of the void. Feel, you know, don't care. Feel. Yeah, the new character gets to this, like, uh, uh, outfit that they started with. <laughs> and then they, like, take it away from you. It's like you step in. I think you don't even have the outfit anymore. I guess this is the, the outfit we're supposed to be working towards. Then I think that's pretty much the end of the opening cutscene there. Uh, so we got the cutscene, create a character and everything. I think for the uh, dialogue here, maybe we'll we'll just skip the dialogue. We, we can pause the video and then come back after everything's done. So we can uh, pause the video if we need to. Up to the opening dialogue here. Oh, there's even a way to uh, skip, skip this uh, cutscene dialogue. So it's not too interesting, we already read it and everything. Essentially you're just going to be attacked by some people and then searched. And then you'll enter the main city here. Yeah, here we go. Welcome to Grenadia, a vibrant forest nation. Cradled in the bottom, bottom of nature. Bottom of nature. Please select the control scheme you wish to use. So we're going to be using the map. Oh, so the keyboard here. And then I'll show you how to, uh, how to uh, do everything with the mouse and the keyboard. As well, we have to talk to this person. So this city is a lot easier to navigate too. And he's going to give you your first uh, quest here. So we just accept this one. 
and then he's gonna give us another cutscene. That's what I'm saying. Like, uh, but most of this game, it's just gonna be cutscenes and dialogue. Alright, do the epic on a quest. We can use the duty list to see see which uh, quest we're on. I guess we, we don't need the play guide for anything. I think that's just gonna open up a new browser or something. But essentially, we need to work our way to this uh, quest marker here on the map. Maybe press M to open up the map button to see where we need to go. And then this is gonna lead us to our main quest line here, I believe. Before I skip this one, it's just us talking at the desk for a little bit, and then she welcomes us, and then we have completed your first quest. And then, uh, this concludes the introductory game tutorial. You have taken the first step as an adventurer. Listen well to the wisdom. The eight scenario quests. And we already got to level two already. So, something we need to do is, I think we're just supposed to skip to these main story quests here. Stick to these ones. Ah, uh, so right in front of us, where it's going to accept this one. And then it's just going to be another long cutscene with that long. When you're actually playing, you can just sit here and uh, read it. But it does take a long time. Do keep that in mind. The main menu, it'll show you the main menu controls games here if you want to go to the main menu, like your uh, character or anything. All things are down here in the main menu, they tell you about it. Sanctuary, so we can gain rest and EXP for sitting in this area. Navigation, press M to open up the map up to figure out where we need to go. Just open up the map, and then we need to work our way up here, here too close to home up here. Something you do need to keep in mind, like all all these uh, random little quests around here, like uh, this one. It's like uh, he needs uh, help for something. I don't think there's any reason to do these on your on your main character. I think those are for like uh, leveling up your secondary classes. I would think. Uh, what is this? Uh, are we supposed to left click? Yeah. Oh. So you come up to this uh, Aether, and then you right click, and you're supposed to attune to it. And uh, this is going to be your main way of teleporting everywhere around the world. Yeah, they get greeted here, and they says, uh, congratulations, these things are for teleporting everywhere. And you learn the return spell here. So forever out of venturing anywhere, we can just sit here, press return, and then we'll be able to come back. Uh, so what, what's the uh, next part of the quest? You're close to home. So we check our list here, right? Visit the uh, Codger's Guild over here. So that's gonna be over in this direction. Open up her map here. Press M again if you if you need to uh, center it on you. And then we're just gonna work our way over to the Codger's Guild over here. So I think we can use the uh, Sprint button here. Sprint button allows you to run a bit faster for a bit. And then let's we'll go work our way over here through through this uh, door here, <laughs> which gives us the loading screen to the next area. Once we get here, there's going to be another uh, a threshold that we got locked here. So we do is just a two to this one. And this is essentially just that lock, say, a uh, teleport point between these two places. So now, if we want to teleport from like uh, here to here, we can teleport there. And eventually, we just have to uh, collect all the different ones in this uh, city over here. Let's keep going down here. What we want to do is just uh, stick stick to our main story quest down here. So we're just gonna work our way to the Conjurer's Guild. And it's just right over here. This is gonna be like the uh, cl class that we pick. And then a whole bunch of dialogue, then you have to confirm, and then uh, confirm that you're gonna be a conjurer. 
once we figure that out, the coming over here, there's gonna be another uh, quest that we're gonna complete. It's gonna be another cutscene where he's introducing you to see Captain you Skip. So you can't actually uh, skip, skip these ones, it seems. We can skip all the dialogue. It's not, not really too interesting to read any place. I mean, like, there's all these different classes. <laughs> Every single one of them is going to have something like that. Should we accept this one since right here? It's just level 3. Let's not worry about it. Don't do the uh, side quest here. See, if we look through here, the main story quest, that's just going to be the one that we're going to do. We have a cultural, we have to do ghostly enemies. There's one more thing that we have to do. We need to work our way to the markets over here. What we're gonna do is just work our way up there. There's looks like there's a Ethernet travel thing up here we can collect. So we'll, we'll just uh, work our way up here, collect uh, this up here. We accidentally uh, ended the recording instead of uh, pausing it, so we're gonna have to put it in the editor and then put it together. But essentially, we come here, collect this uh, Ethernet, Ethernet travel thing along the way, and then work our way up to this travel thing along the way. I will just ignore these quests here. We can do these quests later on a different uh, class or leveling up. And, and we work our way to the next one over here. And then we're just over to, to the uh, trade market. Very much over here is where you're going to be going if you want to level up your uh, profession, your crafting skills. All you do is just come here, go to like the uh, trade craft supplier. They just buy everything from him and just level up your skills later. But for now, we don't need to do anything with those. So let's uh, head over to the uh, quest item. And then he's gonna say thanks, 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 uh, thanks for giving me this. And then I think that's pretty much it. Close to home says that we just have to return back to where we were. So we just work right out here. We should be able to go, uh, go, go through a gate out here somewhere. And then eventually make our way back to where we started over here. So let's come here, complete this next uh, story class. So it's actually so good you can actually just skip them if you want. Uh, should I have a new quest here for a second, right? Alright. So now we need to get to level four to be able to do the next story quest here. Uh, so while we're level three at the moment, so far we can uh, continue the main story. We have we have to uh, fi figure out how to get a level up here. So we we can probably figure out how to how to level up. We open up our journal. We do have another quest here for the conjurer. So it just says we have to go to, go defeat some uh, en enemies out here. So I wonder if we should uh, actually check the vo volume compared to our voice. Maybe we'll edit this and then we'll go work on this uh, controversy quest. Alright, so we have uh, one quest here. So we're, we're just going to go work on this. We could go check the map here. That looks like it's just over here. So we just have to go out here and then just go out down the exit here. And then the enemy should be just, just outside the front gate there. Let's just go do that. Just run down this long road, and then we should be able to find our uh, quest enemies that we have to kill down here. And then we got the achievement for, for mapping the realm, the central shroud. We just had to leave, leave the town here. It looks like they give you the battle tutorial, so they're going to teach you about the uh, battle tutorial and the ach achievements here. So it's going to be like two, two different, or oh, three different types of enemies we have to kill. There's going to be a ground squirrel here, a ladybug. There's going to be another enemy somewhere. So I think we can actually go up here. There should, should be like a level 2 enemy. Should it be there? Yeah, there's level 2 enemies up here. 
So it's not just a fight level one. It, we come back here, fight level two, so then I think they gave you more XP. So we're just gonna be casting our stone ability. If I cast this a few times, it should be enough to take out the Brown Squirrel Fruit. And I believe there is some like a uh, uh, chain, chain mechanic. You, know, you learn about learn about EEXP that uh, buy the items here, which you're gonna be using later to get a uh, materia. We believe. <laughs> There's no year. Once we kill a second squirrel, it's gonna say that there is a chain chain to kill, kill the same enemy two times. Right? I, I don't think it showed the uh, chain. Maybe it's because we uh, took took so long to kill. Oh. Now, I'm not sure how the uh, volume is going to be to our voice with the combat and everything. What if we can't get a uh, change of this level or something? Maybe I have to uh, uh, unlock or level up. Essentially, we're just going to be killing uh, three, three ladybugs, three squirrels, or I can kill uh, three, three or whatever those other things are. And then that's going to be pretty much everything for this last tier. All the way down here. All the cars are really out of like uh, over now this direction. So like... so we did we did find these guys, they were actually pretty pr close to this area. So we need to kill one of them, and then we just had to take out another two year. But this might even like uh le level us up or something. I guess, I guess by the time we get that, chain, boot, chain bonus, 73 seconds remaining. So there, there is a chain bonus, so I wonder why this was in the show. Maybe, maybe the enemy has to be at least level 3 or something. Yeah, chain plus 2. So now that we came here, we defeated these three enemies here. We, we can just uh, run back to the city, then we just have to go back to the Conjurer's Guild here, just go turn this quest. You know, let's make it in here. We can actually just uh, come to this uh, Aether right? and Then we should be able to use the Aether right service to teleport to the Conjurer's Guild over here. Uh, so we don't have to walk all that way. <coughs> so that's pretty much what these things are for. You just un unlock them and then you can just uh, teleport over here. So we didn't have to walk, walk all that distance over there. But uh, we're just going to come here, turn in this uh, Conjurer quest. It looks like this should bring us to level 4 to be able to go continue the main story missions over there. They give us some raisins. I guess there's some uh, raisins to eat. Use items. I'm going to teach you how to use items. So then we get the hunting log. Hunting logs unlocked here. All right, so it looks like to complete the uh, next uh, class quest here, we need to get up to level five by the looks of it. And if you press the H button, we have a hunting log, which is pretty much for like uh, every single class. We're gonna give you different uh, different enemies you can go and defeat. Pretty much we're gonna be looking for them. It's gonna be the same things we just did. We're gonna have to defeat those uh, ladybugs, the ground squirrels, and the forest fuckers again. Uh, so since we did that though, we just go use this uh, Aethernet to go teleport back to the Aetherite Plaza over here. And then just work our way back to back to the main story quest out here, which is just in the starting area. Just out here in the back. Up. So we'll just go red, red work over here. Don't, don't, don't pick up your ability. So, sometimes you can uh, right click and remove this. We come here, now we're at level 4, and we can accept this next uh, story quest here. We're gonna come here and work on this, and then it says uh, uh, speak to Gravity at the Bed Off. So we're gonna have to go all the way down here. So for New Grandadio, we have to go south down here and then just uh, le leave the city. So we don't have like uh, any new equipment. Equipment or anything, we just have some raisins. Okay. So it looks like we're just going to leave, leave the city here again. And then when we leave this time, these uh, ground squirrels we just defeated, these ladybugs and everything, they'll have these symbols above them, which is the hunting log over here. I just say it's just for every class you're gonna go through. We're, we're just gonna skip ahead. We're going to go to the level two enemies because they're gonna be given a bit more EXP over here. 
You have to kill uh, three ladybugs, three squirrels, and three fuckers over here. They did give us a new, a new ability here. What do we need to try and use with it? Gotta kill one ladybug. I think we're just gonna sit here and just kill these three ladybugs. And then get this completed. This will give us some extra EXP. And I think when you're level your characters, you want to get these done just because it's like, uh, it's pretty much a one time thing. It's kind of like a little uh, quest we have to do here. That yeah, doesn't do the uh, shape. What is it? That's the level three by the looks of it. Happy with our first uh, hot dog here. <laughs> yeah, so it's just gonna be a safe thing. We'll defeat this uh, ground squirrel, make it to level four, and then we'll defeat these uh, fuckers, and then we'll go and move on to the main story mission over here. Oh, and then I uh, hear something. So, a good thing about uh, this game is pretty much like all the loot, it's pretty much sent to your inventory right away. So, you don't, you don't have to go around, you don't have to loot these things. I, I did notice that pretty quickly. It's like uh, these things, you can kill them and if they drop loot, it just goes directly to your inventory. So we will need these animal skins later for uh, uh, crafting. I think these are like uh, leather work and a bunch of other things. So this is a good thing we're coming here. And we got up to level 5, which means we can go accept the next uh, class quest over there. Before we do that... We're just gonna come here and just finish, uh, finish uh, to feed these uh, fuckers here. So we got level five already, and then we're just working on our uh, hunting, uh, hunting, hunting log over here. All right, so we uh, completed all these things. We got uh, all three hunting log monster monsters uh, caught, and we just go over here. Then we keep working on the main story quest over here. Then eventually when we go back to the main city, we're going to be working our ask quest again. We'll just come here. He's going to give us some more uh, dialogue, some more uh, story. And then we can accept a new item here. This pillow war, so we're not actually in this, this pillow war this time. So I guess we're going to be picking these things. That's not even going to give any uh, extra d defense, or F is it? 11 defense, 20? Yeah, I guess we can uh, get a new piece of equipment here. We wouldn't worry about getting the gill. It's like if you... We're not 100% sure. It doesn't seem like it's going to be an upgrade compared to what we have here. This thing's better. So if you can't find a piece of equipment to upgrade with, it's usually better to just take the uh, gill then. It's good to find a gear upgrade, so we took the gill, and then we leveled up, and now we're at level 6 already. And then we're just going to continue going through the main story quest here. Okay, so it says you can view equipment character. We, we need to get our uh, gear, uh, gear level up, doesn't it? Quit your head, body, hatch, legs, and view with gear of item level 5 or above before returning to speak to him. So we can come here and we can just uh, buy it, I believe. Yeah, here's the merchant of Ender over here. So if we need to, we just come here and buy it. But then I guess, uh, I guess we don't even have that much. Uh, we don't even have that much gill to buy anything with. So we're gonna have to figure out how to get some better uh, equipment on our character then, right? So we figure that out. So we're pretty much uh, stuck in the main story. We can't continue the main story until we get the gear for our character. So what do we need to even get? We just need to get like a head, body, hatch, legs, feet. We just need to get a help. We just need to get a helmet over here. So we can do is come to the store. And then we, we just need to go buy a helmet. Right? We, don't, we don't have a helmet, do we? Oh, we got a, a ring of freedom. So we're a character up here. If you open up your uh, character window, we come here, see the uh, recommended gear button, click it. It says we have a new rig we can equip. So if you get some new equipment and you're wondering if you have any better equipment to equip on your character, you can do this and then it'll give you, give you the best equipment that you can pretty much wear at the moment. So say we just need to get uh, one hat. So if we just buy this uh, 
one hat here. A hempen hat. It's gonna be like 113 yell. Is that what I wanna get? It's good for all classes. So you buy that, 113 yell. And whenever we get a piece of equipment, it's actually sent to our armory chest over here. So if you look at our, our armory chest, their inventory, it's like two two separate inventories for keeping armor and everything else, which is pretty good for uh <coughs> pretty good for inventory space. So if we go recommended gear, we got a new hat here. It's gonna give us uh, more stats and more defense. And then after completing that we can go here and complete the uh, main story quest here. So if I end this video here, we figure, I don't know how long it's going to be, maybe it's like 30 minutes or something. We got up to the main story quest here, and we got our item gear level up to level 5 by buying the hat from the store, and then we can uh, continue the main story quest.